Welcome to the History of Science podcast on Physics Teacher. This is episode two, which looks at the scientists that contributed to the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law has a fascinating history that encompasses the contributions of several renowned scientists. One of the earliest pioneers in the field of gas behavior was Robert Boyle. Born in 1627 in Ireland, Boyle was the 14th child of the Earl of Cork, a prominent English nobleman. Despite his privileged upbringing, Boyle's early life was marked by tragedy, as he lost both of his parents at a young age. However, this adversity did not deter him from pursuing his intellectual passions. Boyle's scientific journey began when he traveled to the continent, where he was exposed to the cutting-edge ideas and experiments of the time. Upon his return to England, he established a laboratory in Oxford, where he conducted a series of experiments. Boyle's experiments with air pressure and volume led him to discover the inverse relationship between the two variables, now known as Boyle's Law, in 1662. This means that as the pressure of a gas increases, its volume decreases. He was also a bit of a recluse, preferring to spend his time in his laboratory or in his study rather than in the social circles of the day. Nevertheless, Boyle was a founding member of the Royal Society in 1660, a prestigious organization dedicated to the advancement of science and his work was widely celebrated during his lifetime. Building upon Boyle's work is the French scientist Jacques Charles. Born in 1746 in France, Charles's early life was marked by a keen interest in science and experimentation. He studied at the University of Paris, where he developed a deep fascination with the properties of gases and their behavior. He conducted experiments that revealed the direct proportionality between the volume of a gas and its absolute temperature in 1787. Today, this relationship is known as Charles's Law, and it shows that as the temperature of a gas increases, the volume increases as well. Charles was also a skilled inventor and engineer. He is credited with the design and construction of the first hydrogen-filled balloon, which he successfully launched in 1783. He was also a dedicated educator, sharing his knowledge and expertise with students and fellow scientists. His lectures and demonstrations were renowned for their clarity and engaging nature, inspiring generations of young minds to pursue careers in the sciences. Despite his many accomplishments, Charles remained a humble and approachable individual. He was known for his kindness, his sense of humor, and his willingness to collaborate with others. Joseph Louis Gay-Lussac was a renowned French chemist who made significant contributions to the scientific community during the early 19th century. Born in 1778 in France, Gay-Lussac's life was marked by a passion for scientific exploration and a keen intellect that led to a series of experiments. Gay-Lussac's work was heavily influenced by the earlier experiments of Guillaume Amontons and Jacques Charles. Building upon this foundation, Gay-Lussac set out to investigate the behavior of gases, particularly the effects of temperature on their properties. During his experiments, Gay-Lussac noticed that as the temperature of a gas increased, its pressure also rose. This observation led him to formulate Gay-Lussac's law. It states that the temperature of a gas is directly proportional to its pressure. So as the temperature increases, so does the pressure. Gay-Lussac's scientific achievements were not limited to his work on gases. He also made important contributions to the field of meteorology conducting experiments that helped to better understand the composition of the Earth's atmosphere. In 1804, he embarked on a daring hot air balloon ascent to study the effects of altitude on the Earth's atmosphere, reaching a height of over 7,000 meters. This feat was both a scientific triumph and a personal one, as Gay-Lussac became one of the first people to experience the thrill of high-altitude flight. The culmination of these individual contributions led to the formulation of the ideal gas law, 
which was first proposed by the French physicist Émile Clapeyron in 1834. Clapeyron's equation provided a comprehensive description of the relationship between the pressure, volume, amount of substance, and absolute temperature of an ideal gas has become a fundamental tool in the study of gas behavior and has found widespread applications in various fields of science and engineering.